Hey everyone, welcome to the Tech Channel. Today we have again a tutorial about Siemens Tire Portal, and we're gonna use also Net to PLC Sim and PLC Sim also with a Kickware OPC server, and then we're gonna use Data Logger to write data in uh, Access uh, file in or Access database. So here, as we did like in the previous tutorials, we talked about Siemens Tire Portal and how to write program and etc. So today I'm working on the same project I used in the in the tutorials before. It's a simple project. I'm using like a PLC at the with CPU 315 uh, because it has like the the Ethernet port that's why I'm using it to connect it to my like uh, OPC server and like here I have my program it's a very simple program as I talked it before let's see it again no problem like if you want the detailed things about this uh, pro little project and uh, preview and uh, others like uh, Tutorial about connecting to need to PLC sim and uh, OPC server. You can check my previous tutorial. It's very simple. I'm gonna redo it again, no problem, but uh, in a very fast way. So here I have my program. It's very simple. As you said, I have like this memory memory wide sorry that controls the other one, and then I have some simple math functions. I add them like uh, before. And then I add like another uh, tag which I control like uh, manually. Here we're gonna launch like our uh, PLC sim. Always execute in administrator mode. We're gonna load our program. My program is working fine. Okay, now I'm gonna connect PLCC to network. Launch as administrator two. server uh, we talked in detail about all these things now I'm just going through this uh, very fast to go to the new project here we configure like our PLC sim Siemens TCP IP Ethernet Channel one, no problem. Network adapter, select our adapter. Okay, we add a device, device one, it's a S7 300 model. Now I'm gonna add some tags. I will not add them all. Just one or two. Let's check if they are working ok mm, Something is wrong Yes 
or wrong address. It's okay, it's working alright. Let's check their state. Yeah, for one. Everything is working okay now. Here I add only our uh, uh, two tags. You can add like all the tags you use here. But uh, today the goal is not this. I'm gonna now open like my access. File. I'm gonna create a new database. Okay, it already has like the table one. Its name. Its name is like uh, value one. Then value two. You add like two columns, and we're gonna like save the database. We're gonna save it somewhere as you like. Okay, so here we have like our database. We close this and we go to the data logger here. We add the new data log. Like let's name it 13 and we configure here the DSN. We add the new one here it's add in English. And we check for Microsoft Access Driver MDB ECCDB. And we select the database we made, like this one. We created before, you just look for the folder where you stored it and you select it. You can rename it here. Okay, it's okay you select it. Mm, it's here, this one. Okay, and you will select it here again. Don't forget this. And you go to the data map. Check this, create a new table once and only, and you select your table that you created just right now. It's table one. We create this and you add like your two tags you add like value one and the value two okay and here you go to a table format it's white we use like each item we get its own uh, like uh, colon we add the map field here you can add what you want to show and what you want you don't want like every tag has its value time stamp quality and numeric id and let like it just the value for now And here you should have like the same name as the one you used before, as the one you use in the database column, like value to value. I'm gonna name like this value one, I think. It's 
two. I don't know. Let's name it two. I don't know if I use space or no. Let's recheck our database to see if everything is correct or no. They both have space. Okay. Okay, we save the things and we can start data logging. Yes, we started already data logging, and here we have like stop data logging or begin again, enable data group, and now we can modify like a little bit our things go like zero. Name this okay. We stop data logging for the moment and we check our database file. Okay, this is our values. Let's sort in largest to smallest. So the value here, like they are changing, like uh, it depends on the refresh cycle. Like uh, here, it's uh, interval. It's every 50 milli, uh, 500, 500 milliseconds. So two per seconds. Each value they are uh, registered here value 1 value 2 you can like add if you want the other ones here in data map you can add like the timestamp if you want so that's it for the data login using like the net to pay system and the cave keep server or PC server to log data into access I hope you like it if you have any question you can ask it in the comment or send me a direct message no problem I hope you like it and if you don't understand something you can always check my previous tutorial please leave a comment or a like subscribe if you want and stay tuned see you next time <laughs>